Now for my next note card, I am using a little sunny and using that mint tape again to put a note card behind my stencil. I am using this to line up my letters here and as you can see I'm using the brand new mint tape. This is the low tech. Amy Stamps goes on about mint tape and says mint tape is the bomb. Reminds me of post-it tape if you've ever used that before. However, it is much more affordable and this stuff is wonderful for die cutting. I am going to be using some mint tape to help keep that white cardstock piece in place behind my stencil. I'm going to be doing some distressing. It seems to have done a really, really good job at making sure that that is going to be masked off. Wow. Okay. That stuff is awesome. Hi friends. Are you ready for our next Christmas in July deal? We here at scrapbook.com are celebrating Christmas in July all month long, and we have a fabulous deal for you. This mint tape bundle is only $7.99. This is good for two days or while supplies last, so you're gonna wanna grab it. In this live stream, we will be showing you what's all included in this kit. Plus, we will be showing you some fun techniques and card making tutorials from Ryan Swift and Lauren Taylor, and Simon Hurley will be sharing masking techniques, so stick around. Okay, friends, I have a question for you. Have you used our mint tape? And if so, we would love to hear how you're using the mint tape. So tell us in the comments, we wanna know how you're using this fabulous tape. Okay, I'm gonna show you what's included in this bundle kit. You get one four inch wide mint tape, as well as two one inch mint tapes. Each tape is 11 yards long. That is a lot of tape. It's low tack adhesive, keeps your stencils and dies in place on your paper while you craft. It's easily removable without damaging your project. It tears easily like paper or sticky notes. The matte texture lets you write directly on your tape with your favorite pen or pencil, and it can be used for all types of masking. All right, don't forget to take advantage of this amazing deal. While supplies last, it is only good for two days or while we have supplies, so you're gonna wanna grab as much as you can or as much as you will need. All right, let me just show you a couple of fun ways to use this mint tape. So we are going to start with the Spellbinders die cutting machine. I'm just gonna put it on my table here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take the four inch mint tape and just tear a little bit off and put it right onto my magic mat. The great thing about this mint tape is that it's reusable. So once you use it, you can use it over and over again. So I'm gonna take the scrapbook.com heart die from the heart die set and this size, and I'm just gonna put it in the corner here. And we are going to take our plate, put that right on top of this fun magic mat. And I am just gonna cut. Ooh, that's a squeaky machine. <laughs> All right, that went through nice. And as you can see here, beautiful cut. I'll put my die aside. And then I am just going to lift up this mint tape. As you can see, it comes up nicely. Put it on this side too. All right. And I can put this aside and even use this part as a mask if I wanted to. Put that over here. And then I'm just going to take the edge of my nail to get the corner of this heart and just peel it up off of my magic mat. Perfect. All right, so then I've got a heart cut out with this mint tape and I'm gonna use it as a mask. So let's move this die cutting machine over here. And then I'm gonna take, I've got my silicone mat down right here, but I'm gonna take a piece of paper, put that down. And then I'm gonna also take a card front a regular A2 card front just right here. And I'm gonna add, because I wanna create a mask here. So I'm gonna take my heart that I just cut out of the four inch mint tape and lay that down right here in the center. Center it, that looks pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna use some pops of color. These are a fun scrapbook.com product. If you haven't used these, you'll wanna try these as well. These are some fun colors that we have. They're bright and colorful and they leave dimension and they dry almost like an acrylic or enamel top. They're so pretty. So I'm just gonna take a set of colors. I'm gonna shift my card over just a little bit so I can start my rainbow. So we'll start with red on the corner and I am just gonna squeeze a bunch. Look at how pretty that is. So that's our red and then I'm gonna use pink. 
actually might need a little bit more because I'm going to go all the way across this card. I want it to spread all the way across and give vibrant color to create a rainbow. Now I'm going to add some more colors. Let's do, oops, let's add our orange. Very pretty orange color. It's got like a pearlescent. These are pearly. Let's do the yellow next. Just squeeze it on there. Just get a bunch. We're going to smooth it all out with our craft scraper. There we go. And then let's, let's just start the rainbow over again. Let's do red and pink again. So we've got our red. And let's just add a little more pink. Those look fun, don't they? They almost look like candy. They have that pearlescent glow to them, so they're so pretty. Now I'm going to take my craft scraper from scrapbook.com. This guy is a great handy tool to have doing mixed media projects or anything. If you're using a Cricut, it scrapes off your mat. There's a lot of uses for this guy, but I love it because it has a thin edge. And so I'm just going to lightly lay it down across all my colors and then pull all the colors across my card front. Look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I'm going to let this guy dry for a little bit because I don't want to pull off my mask until this is dried completely, but it will give me a complete heart white center, which is what I want and what I'm going for. And then you have a ton extra on your craft scraper if you want to use it on another project, and it'll literally just keep going. So I'm going to pull this aside to dry it. And then I will show you, I'll just use this scrap paper and show you how you can keep going, making rainbows and more rainbows. So this is a great fun tool to have. And I will put this to the side and we will move on to the next project. All right, we've got another card front that I'm just gonna put here. And then I've already cut out another heart um, shape with the die of our four inch mint tape. And again, I'm just gonna lay him right in the center here. of my card. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab some of our fun colors. I've got carnival pink and buttercream. I love these two mixed together. They kind of give like a sunset look. And then I'm gonna take my domed foam blender and let's do the buttercream first. Slid off. And I'm gonna do some ink blending around this masked heart. And I'm just going to get some ink onto this domed blender and we're just going to go like this right on top of that heart mask and just blend, blend, blend. And I just want to create a blended out look across the whole card and go a little lighter on the edges and darker around the heart just to give almost like a sunburst effect so that it's just kind of bursting out with color and it gets lighter and lighter on the edges and darker around my heart shape. Okay, and I'm gonna put this aside for a second and add some more color. We're gonna do the carnival pink on the other side of this heart and do the same thing on this side. Just start darker around the edge of the heart and then just kind of blend it out to the edges. Just down just a little bit around the edge and then blend it out to the edges and then blend the two together. Don't forget guys, this is a limited time deal, two days only or while supplies last. So you'll want to stock up, grab as much as you will need. This is a great deal. Okay, I just got done with my ink blending, added some more there as you can see here, and I am gonna start stamping. I've got my scrapbook.com black premium dye ink, and I'm gonna add some of these fun new spring sprigs from scrapbook.com. I love this set. It's a bunch of sprigs that you can use on all your projects. So I'm going to grab my medium acrylic block and add this pretty floral sprig that's a little bit curved, which I think will be really pretty along the edges of my heart mask here. So we will ink this guy up and we will just go along the edges of my masked heart right here. And I kind of want it to curve up and around the edge here. So I'm going to do a firm impression and pull it straight up. Look at how pretty that is. Now let's do the other side to kind of match and we'll do like upside down, coming down along this edge. Look at how pretty gorgeous and 
do a firm impression down as well and pull straight up. Look at how pretty that is, gorgeous. Now you can use these sprigs and do some more layering of sprigs around your whole heart, but I'm gonna just stop right there because I just wanna show you how fun this technique is. And then I am gonna take off my mask. So I just peel up from the corner here, grab it. Look at that clean, crisp, white center from this mask. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. Okay, and so I'm just going to put my mask aside if I want to reuse it. And then just to finish off really quick to show you how quickly um, you can make a fun little project here, I'm just going to take from the memories scrapbook.com memory stamp set the word family. I love this script font. So I am just going to stamp right here in my center and right there. All right, there you go. That is a great fun way to use the mint tape four inch masking tape so that you can create a mask on any of your projects. Okay, so the pops of color um, example that I made earlier is dried a little bit. So I am going to show you that effect. We're gonna pull off the middle. Oh, look at that, gorgeous. So now I have like a beautiful rainbow using the pops of color where I had the four inch mint tape masked with a heart. So pretty. I love that the mint tape is perfect for masking projects like this, especially with mixed media. All right, we have a special treat for you. Our friend Simon Hurley is now going to show us how he used the mint tape to make some masking projects. So let's take a look. All right guys, so mint tape is a little bit more of a paper masking tape. It almost feels a little bit like a post-it, but the cool part about this is I think there's like a little bit of a coating onto it. So I wanna see if it's gonna mask off watercolor as well. If so, that would be a big game changer for me. All right, so first I'm gonna mask off a little section because I want to do a strip of color for the ink blending and then leave the rest of my background white. So I'm just going to tape a piece of mint tape down on either side and I'm just going to go in and blend these on the edges. One thing I wanted to look for too is to make sure it's going to stick down enough to hold it down for ink blending. And it's going to do that even though we're applying lots of force and we'll see how clean the lines are after we're done blending. Then I'll go in with a little bit of Prom Queen blend this together. So I like this because it's a nice transition shade in between that purple and orange to make sure that they'll blend together really nicely. And I love the vibrancy of this one too. Then we'll go in with a little bit of Crown Me on the edge here. All right guys, so I'm gonna go in with the Ghosted stencil. This is from my newest Simon Hurley Create release. I just love these little ghosts on here. So I'll go in, place that down exactly where I want it, and then I'll bring in my Distress Sprayer with just water. So this is gonna give me a lighter haze of water. I wanna see if it holds up to this, but later we'll do even more water coloring. So I'm just gonna go in, spray this down with some water. It's a pretty generous amount, let's see. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to lift off that stencil, and then if I want it to stop lifting and reacting and bleeding, I'll go in with my heat tool and heat set this. All right, now it's dry. This is the moment of truth when we lift off the tape to see our results. So I'm still gonna peel it pretty carefully. I do this with any tape because my cardstock does rip a little bit easier. So I want to just kind of peel it back onto itself. It got a really nice clean edge on either side, which I really appreciate. Now for this next one, I want to really put the watercoloring to the test. So I'm going to lay down two stripes of the tape and still see if it masks it off if we use a lot more water. So I'm just adding my two pieces of tape down and then you wanna make sure the edges are extra sealed. So I'll give it a nice firm press on either side and let's go in and test this out. I'm gonna use the same colors. So I went in with Crown Me, Midnight Snack, Prom Queen, and Guppy, and we're gonna go in and watercolor these out. All right, so I'll start off with a little bit of Guppy. We'll go in here and add some water down with my color. And I'm going in with quite a bit of water this time to really test this out and see if it's going to hold up. So then I'll go in with a little bit of Prom Queen. And you know, not many tapes in the past have held up to lots of water when I added it down. In fact, most go in and bleed when you add lots of water. So we're gonna test this out. Okay, so there is my watercolor background. It looks like it did seep into that tape. So we'll see if it held up because it doesn't like quite sit on the top of it. So we'll see. Moment of truth, right? I'm going to lift this off. And again, be careful peeling on itself. Wow. Okay. 
I'm actually really surprised. With the texture of the tape, it feels like it would just seep right through since it's kind of like a paper tape, but it seems to have done a really, really good job at making sure that that is going to be masked off. Wow. Okay, that stuff is awesome. Thank you, Simon. That was so fun to see how you use the mint tape to mask and create those beautiful projects. So thank you. All right, just want to remind you all, this bundle right now, two days only, $7.99. You get the four inch, which is brand new, brand new to scrapbook.com, and two one inch rolls, 11 yards each roll. So take advantage of this great deal, $7.99. Grab yours today and share with your friends. Okay, let's jump into some other techniques on how you can use this mint tape. All right, I'm gonna do some stenciling and some stamping. We will start with stamping. All right, I am gonna take a slimline card front and add it here to my work area. This is a slimline size. And then this is a sneak peek of our brand new acrylic block. Isn't this gorgeous? brand new it's coming out soon so be sure to sign up for yours it'll be here soon and it is gorgeous and it is a perfect stamp block to stamp a slim line on top of your slim line card fronts or on all of your projects and it's heavy so it's gonna like work really well to create that impression okay so let me take my oasis ink over here and then i'm going to take my four inch mint tape now this is very close to the size of a slim line with, so I'm just gonna cut off a straight piece, put this over here, and we will cut off about a two inch, might be a little bigger than two inches, but a two inch piece to mask right here. Now I just did it quickly, so it may not be perfect, but I just wanna show you what a great what great tape this is to use as a mask for your slimline cards. All right, let's take the Oasis. I'm gonna ink it up. This is our new coming soon, so be sure to sign up for this too. If it's not already in stock, this is our Snowflake Slimline Stamp. Look at all these patterns of snowflakes. They're so pretty. And I'm just gonna ink that up really good with this pretty Oasis ink to give like a snow flurry color, icy blue Oasis color. Okay. So here we go, get in this right position so I can stamp this down perfectly. And I'm just gonna stamp it right down onto my slimline card. And literally you do not have to push very much, but I'm just gonna push to make sure I get my impression. And I'm pull it up and there you go. Beautiful design, background of these fun snowflakes. And then I'm just gonna pull off my mint tape. And there you go. Easy breezy mint tape creates perfect masks for your stamping. Now let's try it with stenciling. Let's see how that works. So let me put my stuff aside here. And then of course, sorry, you can create and add your sentiment here for your card front for your slimline card. But I just wanted to show you that fun technique of stamping with the mint tape. All right, let's move on. Okay, I'm gonna grab my stencils and stamp set over here because I wanna show you this fun little technique. These are our new recipe card maker stamps. They're so fun. They're great for creating your own recipe cards. And I've already got one stamped here with a stencil. You can see we did the two different color of pineapples across this recipe card, but I wanna do it here for you to show you how easy it is with the mint tape. So let's take our pineapple stencil and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my stencil down where I want my pineapples. I think I want them like right here across the top of this whole card. Center that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the one inch mint tape just to hold my stencil in place. Put that down a little bit. Get those stencils centered where you want them. I'm gonna hold that down right there. And then what I think I'll do is I will do the top first the top part of the, um, actually I need the four inch. I'm gonna take the four inch mint tape and I am going to cover the bottom part of my pineapple so it doesn't get, oh, hold on really quick. It's moving around a little bit on me. I wanna get this centered where I want it. And I'm going to cover the bottoms of my pineapple there like that. And then let's take one of our 
um, domed foam blenders. And I'm going to take the guacamole color to do the tops, the little sprigs of this pineapple at the top. And we're just going to lightly go across with our ink blending. This dome blender gets in these little grooves perfectly. So I can just do a little bit right there so it gets five, stenc five stenciled pineapples across the top of my recipe card. All right. And then let's swap out the screen and use our rubber ducky yellow. And we will get some ink on our tool here. And I'm going to take my masking tape. Now I just want to cover the top of this. You don't have to because it's got the solid color in there already, but I am going to do that just so I don't get anything on there. And then I'm just going to keep it in the same spot and do the bottom parts of this pineapple stencil. And again, the color gets in here beautifully. Oops. Right onto my white recipe card. This pineapple is going to pop with this rubber ducky yellow. It's so pretty. Make sure I get the bottoms. And there you have it. So let's put this to the side, take off our mint tape and our one inch mint tape, and voila, a perfect stenciled card using the, mass, the mint tape on our recipe card to mask so we could do two different colors. I love that effect. So again, this is reusable. I can reuse this for another project. It's low tack and it can be used over and over and over again. That's why I love this mint tape. Okay. Let's try it now with another stencil. So I'm going to save my mint tape because I want to reuse it. Let's do these fun Christmas trees. Look how cute these trees are. Let's do them on a card. Got an A4 card here on the front cover. Let's grab a cover for my A2 card. All right, so the four inch mint tape is awesome because it's four inches wide. And again, you get 11 yards in a roll. So you get a ton and we made it this size so that you can die cut, use it for masking and you can create any size that you need on your projects. I'm gonna take this four inch mint tape and I'm gonna cut it down the middle here and use this later and put this across my card right here, just in the middle to create this open area. And then I'm just going to take these cute Christmas tree stencils and just stencil across. Let's use our color pine. And I'm going to stencil right across this whole card using this mint tape to create the mask for me right in the center so that I can add a sentiment or add some embellishments there. Get all the edges. This is such a cute stencil with all the little trees. And I'm just going to hold it down securely so that it gets all my little trees in here with the pine color ink. And just make sure I get a crisp, clean thing. And there you go. And then you just have to peel off your mint tape and you've got a perfect mask to use and create a sentiment right here for the front of your card. I love the versatility of the mint tape. It is great for all kinds of projects. So we want to hear from you. Tell us, do you use mint tape to mask your projects? We'd love to hear about it. So leave a comment in the comment section. Okay, I just want to remind you again, what a great deal this is. You're getting three different rolls in this bundle, the brand new four inch mint tape that is great for masking bigger projects and two one inch mint tape rolls as well, 11 yards in each, $7.99. You guys, that is an amazing price. So be sure to grab yours, grab some for your friends. You're gonna use it over and over again, I promise. This is a great staple to have in your stash. All right, I wanna share another technique with you. When we created this mint tape, this is the reason we created it. So I'm gonna show you a great way to use the one inch mint tape. So I'm gonna grab my Spellbinders machine and bring it over here and we're gonna do a little die cutting. Right, right off the bottom there. And this is another sneaky peek. You guys, I am gonna show you some fun new dies that we have coming. We're gonna use our 
block outline Christmas words. These are so cute. You get two in one because you get the letters that pop out and then the outline. I love that. And then our sprigs. These are gorgeous die sprigs. A ton in one set. And then our beautiful floral borders. Our original borders did very well. So we are coming out with these new floral borders. So let's cut them and see how cute they are and how you can use the one inch mint tape to do that. And then another sneaky peek, we have some new paper pads coming, new colors, neutrals. I'll just show you really quick. Harvest, roses, playful rainbow, and jewels. These are all gorgeous color palettes and we have even more coming. So stay tuned and watch soon for that at scrapbook.com. But I am gonna grab a green. Let's grab a green from the jewels and cut up some of these sprigs and Christmas words and border dies as well. So I'm picking a few palette colors that I want to use on this. And then we'll just use another dark green for the Christmas words, or actually I'll use a red out of the rainbow. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I think I'll start out with this green slimline paper from the new paper pad, and then I will use it with these beautiful sprigs. So I'm just gonna take the new sprig dies and lay them out here onto my paper and try and get as many as I can onto this. Oh, let's do this one. Let's see if this guy will fit because he's so pretty. Yeah, that's a good fit. And I'll do him down here. I'm just gonna lay, lay them all out so they all fit onto my paper. And I don't waste any paper, making sure I get everything on there. So I will just take my one inch mint tape and tape these down so they stick to my paper and don't move while I'm putting them through my die cutting machine. The one inch mint tape is perfect for holding down your stencils and dies onto your projects so they do not move and they do not tear your paper. So they are a great item to have when you're doing lots of stenciling and die cutting and stamping as well. All right, so here we go. We're gonna run these beautiful sprigs on our green paper through the die cutting machine and I can feel it cutting it as I run it through. Take off my plate. Let's see how this turned out. Oh, beautiful. Let's bring my magic mat right over here. And we'll just pull these out. Look at these. And they have just little pieces inside that will fall out. They cut beautifully with the magic mat. And our die cutting machine, oh, these sprigs are beautiful. I definitely need these ones, they're gorgeous. Look at that, beautiful sprigs cut out and the mint tape held everything in place. And look, I can just tear it off and hold it to the side to reuse it and get my sprigs out of here. Lots of little pieces coming out. Let's take off my mint tape. It's not ruining my project, which I love. Put these sprigs all to the side. Beautiful set of dies. All right, now I'm gonna take out this skinny one here. Look at how pretty. And then when you have time, you can go in and just make sure, shake it loose, get all the little pieces out. But look at how pretty. I'm just gonna quickly take these out to show you how great this worked. The little pieces fall out perfectly and they just need a little nudging, but they pop out perfectly so you get that crisp cut with your die. And there you go. The mint tape helped me keep all of my pieces and dies in place while I ran it through my die cutting machine. And I have a beautiful set of sprigs. Let's do a few more. Oh, we have one on our magic mat still. Look at this guy. He's so pretty. I'm gonna shake all of his little pieces out just so you can see him. Look at how cute that is. Oh, these sprigs are perfect for adding embellishments to your projects. Cards, scrapbook pages different um, projects that you're working on will be perfect. Okay, now I've made a mess. Of course, with die cutting, it's always a little messy. I'm gonna set these aside. Let's do another color. Clean up some of my pieces here. Oh, let's do these borders. Look how pretty these floral borders are. All right, let me choose, let's choose this one and this rose guy. And I think, I will choose this pretty pink to put on my magic mat, slimline size. These are slimline borders, so they're long enough to fit on a slimline card. Um, or you can just use them on as borders on your scrapbook layouts, cards. You can cut them up, 
get them to any size you want. Now I need some mint tape. Here I can reuse this mint tape. Make sure this is on my paper there. And I'm going to take another piece just to secure this down at the end here. And there you go. Now let's put my plate right on top there and let's send this through. All right, I'm putting this beautiful floral border, brand new to scrapbook.com, one of our new gorgeous designs. I loved creating these with my team. And here we go. Oh, look at this. Everything stayed in place. And I'm going to put those to the side, but look at how gorgeous. And you just have to push out all of your little pieces. They just fall out beautifully. And you've got this gorgeous floral border. Ugh, these are so fun. Okay, for the sake of time, I'm just going to push out a few of these, but you get the idea of how fabulous these work with the mint tape to keep your dies in place. Hold on. I want to show you this. So let me just clean up my mess a little bit here. So I can dust that off just so you can see. There's still more little pieces that are coming out. But you can see how gorgeous this rose design is. All the little pieces coming out. And this floral design right here. Our paper pads cut so nice with our thin dies that it is kind of therapeutic and fun to die cut with great paper that cuts so nice and smooth and push out all these little pieces. So for the sake of time again, I just want to show you quickly how great the one inch mint tape works for holding down all of your dies when you're die cutting and be sure to check out all of our new dies at scrapbook.com. Okay, now, oh, you know what? Let's actually cut one of these new words. I want to show you how great the one inch mint tape works for cutting small dies and especially word dies. I've got my Christmas outline words right here. So let's just take our red paper. Let's add Mary, ho, 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 and Jolly. Okay, so I'm gonna try and not waste paper. Keep these on the edge here so I can use my paper for scraps. And I need some reusable mint tape right over here that I had on the edge. And I need a little bit more. Let's take some of this mint tape, tear off a little bit to hold down these fun Christmas words. These are so cute. I'm really excited about this set because Christmas is my favorite time of year. Is it your favorite time of year? What is your favorite time of year? Fall is pretty nice too. In Arizona, we don't get a lot of seasons. We get hot and mildly cold. So I am looking forward to the winter and Christmas time. All right, check this out. Look at how cute it held these dies all in place. Now I'll put this over to the side. Look at this. Oh, cute. And I can reuse the letters inside for another project as well. But look at how cute. I'll pull this over here so you can see it better. Ho, ho, ho. Mary. And the block letters just come out nicely in the center so you can reuse them for something else. And we've got Jolly. So cute. All right, mint tape to the rescue again. It helped with me cutting my word dies. All right, I just wanna remind you all again, this bundle is an amazing price at scrapbook.com. You're gonna to wanna to take advantage of it. You're getting three rolls and one of the rolls is a brand new four inch mint tape. So you can use this for masking all kinds of projects. Four inches and one roll of that. And then you get two rolls of the one inch mint tape. $7.99, you guys, that's a smoking deal. So take advantage of it, get yours today and grab them while supplies last because as soon as they're gone, they're gone at this price. All right, let's toss over to our friend, Lauren Taylor. She's gonna show us a beautiful project using the mint tape on a beautiful card. All right, let's take a look. I'm gonna be using one of these flat note cards with a little rainbow stencil. I am trying to measure where my card's going to go because I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any bright white edges that my images do go off the ends of my paper. I am going to be using some mint tape to help keep that white cardstock piece in place behind my stencil. I'm going to be doing some distressing on my silicone mat with this stencil. The mat is great for keeping my paper in place while I am doing distressing. 
The first color I'm using is Ballet Slipper. I am picking up some ink using my domed foam applicator and I am just going to rub on this ink on the top row of little rainbows and I'm going to lower into the second row and then bring out my yellow lantern light color to blend that into the pink to create an orange as well as a row of yellow. And then I am going to bring out sky blue and I am distressing a row of blue rainbows and then blending into that yellow to create a green. And finally I'm bringing out Parisian purple to color in that last row of rainbows. And my favorite part of stenciling is pulling off the stencil and seeing the reveal and I just absolutely love how this rainbow pattern came out on my note card. And I'm going to use this rainbow die cut from the Rainbow Wishes bundle. And I'm pulling out different shades of colors from my smooth cardstock packs. Now I originally picked a really pastel pink because I thought it went well with my background. But when I was comparing it to the other colors, it was just too pastel. So I decided to pick a darker pink and I ran the rainbow die through my die cutting machine on the white and all four of those colored pieces of cardstock. I also cut another white banner die cut. I am trimming the rainbow so it actually goes through all the way to the bottom of the die and I'm going to repeat that for all four colors. I want my rainbow to extend through that connected banner on the bottom of the white die. Once I have all four colors trimmed out, I'm going to use some liquid adhesive and kind of paper piece it onto that white piece. I am going to bring out that quarter inch foam strip again place it onto the back, and then I'm going to center onto that banner part of my rainbow die cut. Now that my background is adhered, I'm going to glue my die cut piece on, just using some wet glue on the back, and then I'm going to center this onto my card base. I absolutely love how bright and cheerful this card is. That sentiment lived colorfully is just so perfect. Thank you, Lauren, for that beautiful example of using the mint tape. It was so fun to watch your technique. Now I want to take just a minute and show you some fun projects made by some of our friends using the mint tape. So let's take a look. Crystal Becker used it to stencil. Beautiful. And then Laura Volpez is using it to mask her stamp. I love that. Such a great technique. And then we have Annette who made this beautiful background and she's using it to hold down her die to cut it out. And then we have another one here that she used to ink blend on her background. That's so pretty. And then Laura Evangeline used it to hold down her dies and she used the scrapbook.com die rainbow and celebrate. That's so pretty. And then Marie Nicole Designs used it to create these beautiful cards with her dies and her stamping and her masking there with the background. All right, now we're gonna to toss to our friend Ryan Swift and see how he used the mint tape. I am using the Bold Basic Alpha dies here. These are also by scrapbook.com and I'm going to be arranging them um, here on just a piece of scrap cardstock. This is just an A2 size uh, piece of Nina cardstock. We're not gonna be cutting this, but I am using this to line up my letters here. And as you can see, I'm using the brand new mint tape. This is the low tack Reminds me of post-it tape, if you've ever used that before. However, it is much more affordable, and this stuff is wonderful for die cutting. So I just picked up my dies here with the mint tape, and it kept all of my dies in place. And now I'm using my uh, Gemini Junior to run that through and die cut perfectly uh, exactly where I want those cuts to be. So because this is a low-tack tape, um, it did not stick to any of my cardstock. It didn't peel back any of the inks, so it came out beautifully. And then using some of the Smart Craft Glue, I'm going to just adhere my front card panel down to a uh, A2 top folding card base here. And I'm just going to pop in my uh, center of my O and then the little uh, tittle or whatever you call it. The <laughs> the little part of the E there. Now I'm using the double-sided foam adhesive dots by scrapbook.com and these are wonderful little foam, basically foam rounds that act as a, a way to pop up any die cut and I used it for my sentiment here, Beautiful You, and I just placed that below the hello so the entire thing now says hello, Beautiful You. Thank you, Ryan, for showing us how you made that beautiful card. All right, now we're going to toss to our friends, Jeff and Carol, for some great reviews on this mint tape. So let's see what they have to say. 
Hey everybody, it's Jeff Lindbergh from Jeff Lindbergh Creates. Hi, Carol Weatherspoon. I have a couple of customer reviews for you today for three pack mint tape. I even wore the appropriate color today just for this occasion. Let's find out what people have to say. From Pepperan768, she says very happy with the product. Now this is how low tack is supposed to be. It's more like a paper post-it type of tape, if that makes sense, which to me it totally does as a card maker. So even though it's low tack, I've had no problems at all with it sticking when needed. Tears easily off the roll and I can reuse, reuse it several times before throwing it away. That is so important. It holds down my metal dies and doesn't rip the cardstock at all. I'm very impressed. Just two more in my cart so I don't run out. Thank you, scrapbook.com. Amy Stamps goes on about mint tape and says, mint tape is the bomb. She says, I've tried many different tapes to keep my dyes in place, tape off cardstock for ink blending or use for water coloring. Most are either too sticky or tear the paper or aren't sticky enough. And it's ruined my page by letting watercolor or ink get under the tape, oh no. But says that not happening with the mint tape. I was really impressed by the thickness and the stickiness of the tape. This is my new go-to tape. That's awesome. It's thicker than post-it tape and works better at a much less expensive price point. You won't regret trying it. Amy Stamps, what a great review and that's awesome. I couldn't agree more. All right, thank you, Jeff and Carol, for those fun reviews. Okay, I just wanna remind you all one more time, this is our beautiful mint tape, four inch and one inch on an amazing deal today. $7.99 for three rolls of mint tape, two one inch and one four inch that you can use for a lot of different projects, 11 yards each, $7.99. That's like an amazing price. You're gonna to wanna to get it while supplies last. So this is good for two days, or while the supplies last, so you're gonna wanna get yours. I promise you're gonna use this a lot for all of your stenciling, die cutting, masking, mixed media. You will use this mint tape a lot. So be sure to grab yours. You're not gonna be sorry. It is such a great price. So get them while supplies last and while they're at this amazing price, cause this is it. Limited time on this price, so grab it. And again, brand new roll brand new. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. We love visiting with you and sharing with you these amazing deals. Be sure to sign up for our VIP text so you're notified for all of these fabulous live streams. And until next time, we'll see you soon.